they can win here, that's going to go a long way. Borschler, after that first stop, was still seven. He's now way back in a number of positions, back at ten. And we have a car that has gone up and is in the tires pretty solidly. There's yeah, you look at the roof line on that. That's either had a bit on its roof or it fit into something on the passenger side quite, quite hard. Uh, that is on the downhill corner. So it must have gotten off on the outside and done a hook spin across. That's on the driver's right. It's in the thing. Oh, yeah, it's been upside down big time. All right. And that, uh, I'm trying to read the number. It's 83. 83. Yeah, that would be the uh, Mark Reed car. And Mark's still in the car. It looks like it's taking a rear shot. And uh, we'll take a look here what's happened. This is the fastest corner on the racetrack, the downhill. It's loose. Watch it here. It's going to hook into the grass. Actually, it didn't hook. It goes in the grass. No stopping it now. It's in the wet grass. It's turning. Bam. There it goes. Up and over. Hard hit on the side. And comes to rest on its wheels. But that is a very hard hit upside down. When it came down, the good thing is it landed on the passenger side. It looked at the roof, which is exactly what you hope for. And look at the divot it took out of the hillside there. Uh, but the uh, corner crews are there. Oh, there you go. That's a good sign. You like to see that as uh, Mark himself handing the helmet out. Uh, he's probably just trying to uh, relax a little bit, and he's going to climb out. So that's the good news indeed. Yeah, he looks like he's all right. He sat there, got his senses together. He's uh, talked with the corner workers, assured them that he's okay. Uh, they left him in the car long enough to make sure he was all right, and now he's up and out. Pretty big impact, and uh, not the way it was supposed to end for him today. Yeah, the way that that came up, I mean, the back end looked like it just just totally lost it, and uh, and uh, he just couldn't. I mean, that's front drive, uh, but he couldn't get the wheels turned quick enough to get it back on the pavement. It just went right to the ground. Well, that's why it didn't spin, is because it was front drive, and I'm sure what he did is as it got sideways, he went to full throttle to keep it from going, you know, doing a big spin. And with that, he just ran out of pavement. Now, this really helps Terry Borschel, you know. He was uh, the one in the pits twice with the swing Mustang. He didn't lose a lap.